Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing some tips and tricks on how you can travel to Japan on a very tight budget. So let's start. Okay, so my main questions na um, among family friends ko in ask nila sa akin Mura ba or possible ba to travel to Japan on a very tight budget? And the answer is yes, definitely. Kapag a tight budget naman ang um, budget nyo, okay lang. Maraming mga tips or tricks na pwede nyong gawin to cut costs. So firstly, I'm gonna be talking about transportation. So, totoo, yes, mahal talaga ang transportation here in Japan. So, or to give you an example, siguro, let's say from one way, let's say from Tokyo to another place, let's say Shibuya to Ginza, siguro mga around 220 yen. So, mga ganun yung price. And America in two options, or there are two types of travelers na I think na pagpupunta ng Japan. So, yung first, is kapag gusto niyo mag travel around. So let's say gusto niyo pumunta from Tokyo to Kyoto to Osaka to Nara. So kapag ganun kang travel, I highly recommend that you get JR Pass. So ano ba yung JR Pass? Basically, yung JR Pass is a pass that you can buy online. Um, you can buy it before you even come here to Japan or you can buy it here sa JR station. Or just train station. So, yung JR Pass na yun is a pass that you buy. Uh, I'm gonna put down below how much by yung price ng JR Pass na yun. And you can use it in any JR line. So, for example, you're gonna be going from Tokyo to Osaka to Kyoto. Um, hindi ka na magbabay ng separate pa na ticket for those um, destinations. Kasi, if you're gonna take a Shinkansen, which is the bullet train, super duper mahal niya. So let's say one way, if you're not gonna buy the JR Pass, one way from Tokyo to Osaka is around 2 hours. And you're probably gonna be paying mga 12,000 yen. And mahal yun for one way. Pero if you're gonna purchase the JR Pass, super mahakatipit kayo kasi mahakapunta kayo sa different destinations na isa lang yung babayaran yun na pass, which is the JR Pass. Another thing, kapag pinurchas niyo yung JR Pass na yun, is not only to go to different places, but different tourist spots here. Kapag sa Tokyo lang kayo mag-room around. So let's say, pupunta kayo from Shibuya to Harajuku to Shinjuku to Yoyogi Park, JR line lang yun. So you don't have to pay for separate or for the ticket for that. Kasi may JR Pass. Na kayo. So, included na yun sa pass na yun. So, super duper marami kayo matitipid kapag ka bumili kayo ng JR Pass. Take note, yung JR Pass is only sold for tourists and you can either buy it online or sa JR station or sa train station. I'm gonna put down yung information paano ba kayo bibili ng JR Pass on the description below. Alright, second thing question or second question I always get is paano ba yung food? Magkano ba yung food to Japan? Mahal ba? Saan ba kakain? And everything. So, um, I'm gonna be explaining kung paano ka ba makakatipid for food. So, let's say um, I think na hindi naman siguro kailangan every meal breakfast, lunch, dinner mag restaurant kayo. Kasi ang typical meal dito for restaurant, let's say lunch, kapag hindi set or hindi siya lunch set lunch set um, maybe it will range around 1,000 to 1,200 to 1,500 yen just for one meal. So, a recommendation ko is to go to a convenience store, um, which is 24 hours, 24/7 open, and pwede na makaim dun na lang bumili ng breakfast. So, so, what I love about Japan is convenience store here is they have extensive range of food. So basically, pwede kayong bumili ng sandwich, pwede kayong bumili ng onigiri, which is the rice ball, or it's actually shaped like a triangle. <laughs> Meron silang um, different kinds of breads and anything you can you can buy, like drinks, super duper um, sarap. And also, mura lang siya. So, for breakfast, pwede naman kayong pumunta na lang ng convenience store. Second thing, also, pwede din kayong pumunta sa mga supermarket sa Japan for dinner. Kasi, 
every 7.30 or 8 p.m. what they do is they slash off the price sometimes I think 50% 30% off and I think you know okay lang din naman yun pwede nyo din naman siyang i-heat up sa microwave so most supermarkets here in Japan they would have um, a section wherein they have cooked food so they have like different bentos they would have um, onigiri as well which is the rice ball they would have different kinds of dishes takoyaki and everything and I don't think na hindi siya masarap masarap siya actually it's not bad and you can save money for dinner kasi nga slashed off yung prices so yon you can go to supermarkets to convenience store okay next on we're gonna talk about wait accommodation sorry i have my list <laughs> accommodation so everyone knows there's airbnb um makakatipid kayo if you're gonna just stay in an airbnb but kung gusto niyo talaga mas makakatipid um pwede din kayo pumunta in different hostels mas mura siya pero marami kayo in a room um basically beds lang siya or double deckers or something like that and baka tipit kayo and you can meet some other tourists as well so <laughs> maganda din siya or you can go to a capsule hotel um mura lang din siya but i think super small lang siya and kung claustrophobic kayo like me <laughs> hindi ako pwede sa mga ganyan so it's either you go to a hotel um you can go to airbnb or you can go to a capsule hotel yeah Okay, last thing that I'm going to be talking about is you attraction. So, magkano ba yung mga entrance fees? Magkano ba ano ba yung mga pwede puntahan? Um, so, most likely, kapag pumunta kayo in Tokyo, gusto nyo pumunta ng Tokyo Disneyland. So, yun yung medyo pinakamalaki ng um, cost nyo in terms of attraction. So, maraming places here in Tokyo na pwede nyo puntahan for free. So, for example, um, you can go to a park. Na free siya. First thing is Asakusa Temple. Asakusa Temple is free. Pwede kayong pumunta. Um, you don't have to pay for any kind of entrance or anything like that. And before kayo actually makapunta dun sa, sa temple, maraming mga um, street food na pwede nyo din bilhin. Hindi din siya super mahal. And maraming din mga souvenirs na pwede nyo puntahan dun. And pwede kayong pumunta sa temple and you don't have to pay for anything. Also in Yoyogi or Yogi Park, it's free as well. I think na pwede naman kayong mag stroll don or mag picture picture lang and chapre make time picture picture <laughs> picture picture lang don and you don't have to pay for anything as well. Pero may mga park din na may entrance fee pero hindi siya super mahal. So for example in Shinjuku Gyoen Park, I think it's only around 200 or 150 yen. And meron din ibang park na siguro mga less than 500 yen lang yung entrance fee. So hindi siya malaking cut sa budget nyo. So marami mga places na pwede nyo puntahan. Pwede din kayo pumunta sa Tokyo Observatory Deck. I'm gonna put down all the description below. Um, free yung entrance and you can go up and see the whole view of Tokyo. I really high, highly recommend that you can go visit that place and it's free. Hindi kayo, hindi na kayo kailangan magbayad. So, yes, it's possible na mag-tour papuntang Japan and you don't have to spend so much. Depende lang lang talaga sa preference nyo. Ano ba yung mga gusto nyo puntahan? Pwede ba kayong mag-cut ng cost dito? Kung hindi naman kayo mag-shopping, um, kung chocolates naman yung bibili nyo, okay lang. Hindi kayo masyadong magagasa. So, yes, yes, it's possible. Anyway, Thank you for watching. Sana naman may tutunan kayong mga um, information sa akin. And if you have any questions, kunyari, saan ba pwede pumunta? Ano ba pwede puntahan? Comment down below. And um, I'll try my best to answer to all your questions. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please click here or here. <laughs> and so you can watch my other videos and you can be updated on the new videos that I posted. Also, like this video if you feel that you <laughs> had any kind of information that's useful for you. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye! Thanks for watching!